All right, so waking up for a midnight snack is super easy because the bedroom is right next to the kitchen. The kitchen is really very spacious. I was super impressed. We are a family that likes to cook our own meals rather than going out. Number one, it saves a ton of money. Um, but number two, it's really just better for our bodies. So we try to minimize how much we're eating out, um, even when we are on the road. So the sink is nice and deep. Um, you can see kind of how deep it is based on my hand. I guess it goes almost all the way to my elbow. So you can do some good dishes while you are on the road. Um, the cooktop is propane operated, um, as is the hot water. Um, so you are able to just get that going. It is a gas, so propane. Um, so you lift this top here, um, and then you kind of have three burners to choose from. They're all sized a little differently. You can just light the pilot here and then turn the knob for the appropriate burner. Um, maybe I'm not doing it right. All right, once it's going, then you can turn that off. So you can see it's got a good flame. There are three burners and the arrows do tell you which knob is for which burner. So you cook right on that. And the nice thing that I, I did like, I'm gonna turn that off, is that the cleanup was very easy. Once it's cool, you can take the um, burners off and wipe down the area around if you have any spills or splatters. And that makes it very easy. And then you can fold the cooktop down once it's cleaned and cooled. And while you're driving, you can um, store things on top of this counter here. So right now it's empty because we did just have breakfast. I made some sausage and eggs. Um, I was able to do everything in one skillet with one spatula, so that was nice. Um, we use placemats, so it's a little easier for cleaning up. The kitchen storage is really nice, um, so there's lots of room. It is uh, a tip for traveling in an RV. Storing things with aluminum foil and Ziploc bags is a little easier than using Rubbermaid or glass storage containers while you're on the road. If you have leftovers, the fridge is kind of small. Um, there is an exhaust fan that does work. Make sure you check that before you hit the road because you don't want them to say that it worked and it didn't. And there is a cooktop light, but it is very dim. There is also overhead lighting here and throughout the RV. So you can turn it on halfway or full way, depending on what your needs are. Um, and then we have a, a refrigerator here that's a fairly good size. We have um, two drawers. So we have fruits in one drawer and meats in another drawer. We have some fresh fruit that we keep stored, milk for the kiddos. And then you have this whole area on the door so you can fit drink boxes if you have any of those. You can fit adult sodas if you like those. Of course, you don't ever want to be on the road without chocolate. So you can store whatever you need to store. The fridge is a pretty good size. I'm very impressed with that. Um, we make a few runs to the grocery store on the road. And then the freezer is also a good size. So I like to kind of put some water bottles in the freezer to get them super cold, maybe a little slushy, so that they cool off while we are on the road. And then you have the freezer, you have two shelves. I think you could probably fit a frozen pizza in here, but now that I think about it, there is no stove, so you wouldn't want to do that. Two shelves there. And then we did bring a coffee pot with us. We did not opt to rent any of the utensils from Cruise America. So we store our coffee pot under here. It was a perfect spot for it along with our dish soap. And then we have three um, drawers over here. So the first one, we have our cooking utensils that we did bring with us. It is an option to rent from Cruise America. You can rent bedding. Um, you can also rent towels and linens and cookware. But we just decided to save money and bring our own. We have a drawer full of snacks that the kiddos can get into. And this drawer is broken, but it would pu also pull out typically. We did um, note that with Cruise America before we hit the road. And then I'm going to move our, our trash bag that we have going on in here and show you the storage space that we have. Pots and pans, um, a mixing bowl, and some storage containers. We also brought a cutting board. 
Um, I would advise that if you are going to cook while you're on the road, measuring cups and measuring spoons um, is something that I didn't think to bring. And the kids wanted pancakes this morning. Um, and I just didn't have the proper tools to make those. Uh, now these two drawers, this one here and this one over here, they look like they would open um, for storage, but they are false drawers. I imagine there's something for the RV that is stored under there. And then one more thing for the kitchen area, we have all of our food stored um, up here. So we have our dry goods, um, everything. We have chips and we have seeds and nuts and we have pasta and pasta sauce and snacks and mac and cheese. More snacks, more snacks. When you have three kids, you want all the snacks that you can get. And in my next video, I will discuss the configuration of how to make car seats fit in an RV because they're, um, it, we, we couldn't find that information online when we were looking last year and we did need to have that. So we are able to get three car seats. Um, oh, you know what? Let me show you the bathroom next before I end this video.